Good morning, everyone. Friday, the 4th of September. I've been chatting this week a little bit about the adventures of Peter in um, prison and being miraculously escaped, and yet how the church continues to grow even in the face of that persecution. And today, as we continue in the book of Acts chapter 13 and reading from verse 13, we read how Paul and his companions go and on a particular Sunday, they're in a town called Poseidon, Antioch, and they go to worship, um, I think I said Sunday, but on the, on the Sabbath day, and they go and they worship, and the synagogue invites Paul to stand up and speak, and, and what Paul says struck me. He obviously said a lot, but the one thing that struck me was that Paul is saying God is a God of love, and it is because of that love for us, that desire for something better for us, that God offers us a way, a solution, a door to escape the sinfulness and the corruption of the world around us. And so that stood out for me because God, you see, is not a God of bureaucracy. God is not saying you have to toe the line. You all have to walk in single file on this narrow little path that I have set out for you. Obviously, what I'm not saying is that we can choose any path that we like. I'm saying that the path we need to follow is the path of a relationship with God. But that's not some narrow little path. And we don't all have to walk in this exactly the same way. God is a God of love. And that love of God has been visible from the very beginning of time, from creation even. And as scripture begins to deal with this very decisively um, in, in the Old Testament and, of course, very especially in the New Testament, so we see this desire for God for us to know him and to be led by him. It doesn't mean we all dress the same and speak the same, but God is a God of love, not bureaucracy. And yet, so often, people interpret the way the church works, and God forbid, sometimes us in the church, we do work like this. We want everyone to be the same and to do the same thing. The desire is to bring us all into a relationship with God. And so, friends, as we go into the weekend, as we face these next few days and our worship on Sunday together, perhaps if you're not working, an opportunity to relax Remember, it is a God of love that we worship and that we follow. And yes, there will be a similarity in following God because there's right and there's wrong. And there's only one right and many ways of doing wrong. And so there will be some similarity, but not in some kind of bureaucratic top down. You will do as I say manner. So folks, seek this God. He loves you. He wants the best for you. And he has prepared a way for you. Seek him and follow him and enjoy the relationship that you have with him. Folks, have a wonderful weekend. God bless.